Our world has a very active structure. In this way, it creates all the organic substances necessary for the survival of the vitality. Although these organic substances appear to be destructive, they are the currents of the volcanoes that occur underground and generally occur with volcanic eruptions. If you have noticed a volcano on an island formed by vegetation and life diversity is more. So it has a very fertile soil. But this beauty is destroyed every few millennia. From time to time, volcanoes endanger life with great eruptions and destroy the environment. Some volcanoes are so large that they can destroy our planet, block black smoke and sunlight, so agriculture cannot be done, and the heat drops suddenly. Even drowning creatures with the gases it emits into the environment. These gigantic volcanoes explode every few thousand years and do a great deal of damage to the environment. Have you ever thought about how dangerous the volcanoes in the solar system in this planet are for us? I want to answer your curiosity by researching these. Here are the largest volcanoes in history. It is the form where the volcanic magma layer ejects from the surface of the Earth's surface. The temperature increases as you move towards the inner world. The most innermost part is the magma layer which is composed of molten metals and minerals at high pressure and temperature. These volcanoes are strong enough to cause the destruction or reduction of life on Earth. The largest volcano in our solar system is Olympus Volcano Mons. The highest point in our world is 8,848 meters high in Everest. In Nepal, this mountain is called Dag Sagamathiaral and is called Anna Mother Goddess of the World. The universe is one of the subjects of humanity's curiosity in the process from past to present. With the advancement of technology day by day, we are reaching in a much clearer and wider city about the universe. Mars, called the Red Planet, is one of the planets and one of the most talked about. He made the name of Mars extremely often. Did you know that he has the highest mountain in the sun rising? The name of this mountain on the planet Mars is the Latin Olympus Mons Mount Olympus. The Olympus Mons, a volcanic mountain, has a height of 26,400 meters. This mountain, first noticed by astronomers in the 19th century, is almost three times higher than Everest sea level at the level of the world's mountains, zero meters. The location of a sailor in the Sea of Mars, a crater on the surface of Mars where the average of mountains and plains. The radius of Mars has been found to be 3,390 kilometers. This radius is considered to be zero meters, Earth's sea level. The slopes of this extinct volcano, which has an average diameter of 600 kilometers, meet the plain of Mars quite steeply, 8 kilometers from the cliffs that sometimes occur. Olympus Mons Summit is reminiscent of a plain with very slight tendencies. In our world, sometimes when we reach the top of the mountains, we are above the clouds. In the form of violets of various sizes, it can manifest itself in the order of clouds. The landscape at Olympus Mons is very different. Since Mars lost its magnetosphere 4 billion years ago, the winds of the sun keep the atmosphere thin so as to be able to connect directly to the ionosphere layer of Mars. The Olympus Mons ascent also extends beyond the atmosphere of Mars. So being at the summit at Olympus Mons is like being in space somewhere. Scientists have discovered the largest volcano in the world, and probably the second largest in the solar system off Japan. The Verulan Tamu Massif Mass Volcano spans an area of about 310,000 square kilometers. The largest volcano in the world was discovered in the depths of the Pacific Ocean. 
Tamu Massif, believed to have formed 145 million years ago, was thought to come from three separate geological structures. Tamu Massif the first detection of the U.S. by Houston University researcher William Sager 20 years ago, could be the second largest volcano in the solar system. Sager, the lead author of the research published in Nature Geoscience magazine, Tamu Massif is the largest volcano in the world, as we think, Olympus Mars on Mars. Then the second largest volcano in the solar system, he said. Compared to size, Tamu Massif is 60 times larger than Mauna Loa on the island of Hawaii, the world's most active volcano. However, instead of being vertical, Tamu Massif, which spans a horizontal area, is therefore called the shield volcano, told. Sager said that lar lava erupted once from the center of the volcano and that the lava came from the mantle layer of the Earth. Asa, although enormous, Tamu Massif does not pose any threat today. The volcano ceased its activity a few million years ago, Sager told the Houston Chronicle. Yellow Glowstone National Park, located in Wyoming, USA, includes a supervisor. What about a volcano in the US, you might think, but this is a big mistake. Because a supervolcano is a volcanic eruption about eight in its history, that is, volcanoes scattered more than 1,000 kilometers of cube during the eruption. These are such powerful explosions that instead of forming a typical cone-shaped mountain, a collapse called a caldera occurs during the retraction of the scattered magma during the eruption of these volcanoes. Yellowstone National Park is located within the boundaries of the caldera after such a supervolcanic eruption, and this supervisor is active, so it will explode again and threaten life on Earth. But when? Nobody knows. Yellowstone's latest three mega explosions took place 2.1 million years ago, 1.3 million years ago and 630,000 years ago. So we can say roughly 800,000 to 670,000 times a huge explosion once a year. The supervisor is therefore in an uncompleted 670,000 year cycle. However, it is difficult to make a clear estimate by looking at so few data points. Therefore, experts from the U.S. National Geological Research Center, USGS, the state of Idaho between Yellowstone and Yellowstone in the last 16.5 million years and resulted in the formation of caldera supervisor eruptions examined. This research revealed that there are 15 to 20 super explosions that make up the caldera. Consequently, they concluded that a massive explosion took place every 825,000 to 1.1 million years. So, depending on that, is it possible to predict the next explosion? So the explosions are becoming more frequent. Or are we going to experience a mega explosion 1.1 million years after the last explosion, 370,000 years after today? Unfortunately, the volcanoes do not have a certain explosion time. In southern Chile, there is the unique Chaitin volcano near the ghost town of the same name. For many years the volcano was considered sleepless, the sudden awakening took place in May 2008. As scientists later learned, it was the first volcanic eruption in the last 9,500 years. After a sudden awakening, Chaitin immediately became one of the most dangerous volcanoes in the world. After the disaster, 250 people remained in town. They were later released in 2009. The government decided not to rebuild the destroyed town to prevent new human tragedies and victims. Today the ghost town of Chaitin only attracts curious tourists. 
the height of the volcano is 1,122 meters and the crater is more than 3 kilometers in diameter. Incredible tours to the abandoned city are organized for tourists, and most active travelers can climb the foothills of the mountains and admire the desert scenery with only a few years of active life. Volcano Etna is a volcano located in the southern parts of Italy in the east of Sicily, close to Messina. The Etna volcano, the current altitude of 3,329 meters, is the highest volcano in Europe. The reason we say the current height is that its height changes after spring. Etna is also the largest volcano among the three active volcanoes of Italy with an area of 1,190 square kilometers. It even throws a 2.5-fold difference in width to its closest opponent. Although Etna is still active, it is one of the most active volcanoes in the world. In June 2013, Etna was added to UNESCO's World Heritage List.